Now making his way to the glory ring, he's coming off a unanimous decision win over Karapet Karapetian at Glory 26 Amsterdam. Here is Johan Kangolo. The brass and ultra confidence, Johan Kongolo, 61 and 6. He's got a record of in glory of 2 and 1. Comes in as the number three ranked welterweight in the division. Kongolo has a very aggressive style. He likes to come in, throw big combinations, and likes to look for the finish. He likes the knockout. But he needs to be careful that this is a five-round fight. He can't go in throwing too much energy in the earlier rounds. And as we all seen Nikki in the past, Nikki tends to pick up the pace in rounds four and five. Kongolo had some pre-fight trash talk for Holtzkin, saying his time has passed. Let's see if he can back up the smack talk here tonight. This glory welterweight world title fight. successfully defended his belt in front of his hometown fans in Amsterdam last December. Here comes Nicky Holskin. his way to the glory ring for the 100th time in his professional career. The natural, Nikki Holtzkin, 88 and 11, 46 wins by way of knockout. He won the glory 2013 welterweight tournament. He's a three-time Dutch champion and Muay Thai champion. 10 straight wins in glory. He is a fighter that likes to fight his fight. He stays really tight defensively and looks for counter punches. He's got a very dangerous left hook and a left hook to the liver, but he's also very efficient with his strikes and his energy expenditure, which he tends to dominate in the champion's rounds. Welterweight title is on the line and here's how the tail of the tape breaks down. The champion Holskin is four years older than Kongolo and will have a sizable four inch reach advantage. The glory welterweight title is up for grabs. It is time for your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the Glory Welterweight Championship of the World between two of the top five in the division and the champion putting the belt and his perfect glory record on the line. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association and at the bell, your referee is Paul Nichols. From inside the Forum Copenhagen to Glory fans tuned in worldwide, it's time for Glory! Let's meet the challenger. He is a two-time Swiss and European champion who steps in with a 75% knockout ratio. His record, 61 wins with six losses, 45 of those wins by knockout. 
at 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters. He weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Switzerland and ranked number three in the Glory World Rankings, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Johan Congolo. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a three-time Dutch, three-time world champion. His professional record, 88 wins with 11 losses, 46 of those wins by knockout. His glory record perfect, 10 fights, 10 wins. Standing six feet even, 1.83 meters. He weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, 76.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning and defending undisputed glory welterweight champion of the world, Nikki the Natural Holskin. Once again, your referee is Paul Nichols. Okay, guys, you understand the rules that you're fighting to, yeah? Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Title fight, I expect you to fight like a title fight. Any questions? Touch gloves, break. Maybe a little bit of a shocker that they did touch gloves, but they did it in a manner that you could tell these two do not like each other, Joseph. No, they have something at the end of this fight that both of them want. Congolo's very confident, and so is Nikki. The glory welterweight world title is on the line. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Johan Congolo in the black gloves and the champion Nikki Holskin in the white. Fight odds close with Holskin almost being a four to one favorite in this fight. For the latest, remember to visit our website, glorykickboxing.com. Low kick from Holskin. Nikki seems to be kicking more this fight than he has in his past. Which I think is a good strategy against someone like Congolo who likes to come forward with his boxing. Congolo very aggressive. Throw some stiff jabs, and you're right, Holtzkin continues to throw some kicks. But Nikki's also using a little bit more distance and movement than he usually does. He usually shells up and comes forward. But maybe that's what he's working on with his boxing. You can't be a standing target when you want to be a, you know, a top-level boxer like that. Well, both of these guys, Congolo and Holtzkin, are professional boxers as well when they're not kickboxing. You can hear Big Mike from the corner of Congolo yelling, double up the jab. Yeah, you need to get inside on Holtzkin. If you're just throwing singles, he's just going to pick you apart on the outside. You need to double up that jab, get on in the inside. Spinning back kick from Holtzkin. Skin, many believe, is one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. Been doing a long time, 32 years old. This is his 100th professional bout. Under a minute to go in round one. I think he's just controlling the pace and the distance of this fight. Isn't that what he always does? That's what makes it really hard. He likes to stay really tight. He's very hard to hit. Push kick from Brock Congolo as he came forward. Under 30 to go in round one. Nikki switching stances too. That's right. Curious to see what he's trying to set up from that southpaw. Whole skin back in Congolo up. Congo comes in and ate a shot. Holskin. Congo now pressing forward. And eats a knee for his trouble.
a little after the bell sounded from both Congolo and Holtzkin. There is no love lost between these two. As we check out some of the highlights from that first round. Nikki trying to use that counter left hook, but was able to find that right knee as Congolo kept coming in. And then he followed a low kick, which would have been nice to see. He's doing a good job at keeping his range, keeping his distance, and picking his shots. Congolo needs to just get inside. He can't respect Nikki too much, where he's going to just stay outside because that's where Nikki's most dangerous. for round number two. The Glory Welterweight Championship is on the line. Champion Nikki Holskin and Yoan Kongolo. What a night it's been here for Glory 29 in Copenhagen. Ron Kruk and Joseph Valtellini ringside for the action. Follow us on Twitter at Glory underscore WS at R Kruk and at Bazooka Joe V. You can see Congolo's changing up his style a little bit now. He's starting to kind of bounce around a little bit, use angles, because you can't be that standing target that he was in the first round. And again, Holskin continues with the kicks. He's working that front leg in the first round, and now he's going up top. I think he's going to attack that liver pretty soon. It's opening up. I can see it from down here. The Swiss striker, Congolo, delivers a combination. He's coming off a very impressive win over Karapet Karapetian at Glory 26, trying to build off that victory. It's interesting to hear his trainer, Mike Passionier, from Mike's gym. He said he's going to just keep coming forward, Joseph, for all five rounds. Got to take some chances. He's got to get on the inside because of Holtzkin's height and reach advantage. There's two strategies. You're either going to take the fight to Nikki, or you got to use your distance and angles. Nasty spinning back fist just missed from Nikki Holtzkin. I think he's cutting down with that right hook, but I called it earlier. He's already he's setting up that liver hook. Holskin known for his brutal body shots. Destroys opponents with them, breaks them down, and then the money punch is the left hook to the liver. Back to southpaw, keeps switching stances. It confuses the distance of Congolo, which makes it really hard for him to gauge where Nikki is. Congolo throwing some strikes and kicks. But Holskin just keeps him off balance. Under 30 to go in round two. And Holskin eats a solid shot, backing him up. That's what Congolo needs to do. Once he works his way inside, continue to follow up. Throw a second or third combination inside. Johan Congolo maybe stole this second round. Good action in round number two as Big Mike and his trademark throwing the water on his fighters' faces as we check out the action. Here you go, Congolo's finally starting to put his hands together on the inside and put some combinations together. He slipped up a nice lead uppercut, straight left, continue to follow with his knees. I like that when he gets inside to keep throwing, keep throwing. Mix in his big punches and low kicks. Preparing for round number three. Glory world title fights, of course, scheduled for five three-minute rounds. 
Two minutes, two rounds done, Joseph. How do you have this one scored? Uh, it's really tough. First round goes to Nikki. Second round can go either way. I still think Nikki's doing more damage when he's landing. Kongalu may have put some more combinations together, but I don't think they're doing any damage. Kongalu with a really fierce exchange there at the end of that round. I wonder if that stuck in the judge's mind and maybe he stole the round, but it was a close one to call. Kongalu, a multiple world champion in both Muay Thai and kickboxing. Karate background as we check out the total strikes. More strikes thrown by Holtzkin, but Kongolo more accurate. Kongolo is throwing some good hand kicks, low combinations. That's what he needs to do. But again, Nikki Holtzkin is going to go for that left liver hook. The trademark body shot left hook. And that got through clean. Kongolo will not want to take a few more of those shots for sure. Pressing forward. That was a oh, beautiful good. right uppercut. Then Holtzkin followed right back. Good exchange. Picking up the tempo here in the third round. I like the way Kongolo is using that jab. He needs to continue to use that jab to get in on the inside to unload those combinations. Kongolo, Kongolo snuck a couple of straights through. And backed Holtzkin up as he continues to try to work the body. Kongolo looking light on his feet. High kick block, spinning back. Fast from Kongolo. Nikki keeps landing that left knee. Kongolo, th those are going to add up and wear, wear him out a little bit. He needs to stay tight, keep his distance. Furious pace here in round three. Under a minute to go. Great action in the welterweight division. The glory welterweight world title on the line. Kongolo sure throws some crisp punches. That's the way to do it. Oh, spinning back, kick, knocks Holskin down, but it was not counted a knockdown. That was to the liver, but it still looked like a slip. I'll have to see a replay, because that knocked Holskin back. Let's see if he can survive. And he's, prote Kongolo. he's protecting that liver. Pushing forward, Holskin in the corner. Another spinning back kick fist from Kongolo. Great action here to end round number three. The champion is on the ropes. If he wasn't motivated before, he is now from Big Mike as we check out the highlights from round three, all Kongolo. It was well done for Kongolo, landing those straight punches through the guard of Nikki to get inside. He needs to keep getting inside and throwing those big hand combinations. Let's see the spinning back kick. That's very tough to call. It landed on the liver. That was very tough to call, in my opinion. Well, isn't it if you get a kick to the liver and you fall down, it's a knockdown? And, and the problem with Holtzkin there, he kind of looked like he pushed himself back to kind of make it seem like it was a push over a knockdown. That's a very tough, tough call, but could have gone either way. That's a huge call by referee Paul Nichols to say that was not a knockdown. Round number four, Glory Welterweight World Championship fight. Johan Kongolo and the champion, Nikki Holskin. Can Kongolo pick up where he left off in that third round? He's doing a good job at it. He's coming in with some big power punches, but Nikki has been throwing that big right counter hook and counter left hook, so he needs to be careful and stay tight. His hands are a little low for my liking. What momentum in this fight. Both fighters throwing shots in volume. Kongolo will want to keep the pressure on here. 
Nikki's gonna try to stay in the pocket now, try to use his counters, because he doesn't want to back up, because that's where Congolo was hitting him when he was backing up. Polskin thrown 95 punches, but only landed with 20%, while Congolo much more accurate. He's landed 42% of his shots. I'd like to see Congolo double up that jab, though, like Big Mike was calling earlier in the fight. It's a good entrance, but stay technical. Stop spinning too much, because that's where Nikki gets dangerous. Got to be careful, although Congolo did experience a nice shot there in that third round. That was not called a knockdown. Well, Congolo slips there on the glory mat. Nice sign of respect by Polskin to give him a minute. Polskin keeps attacking the inside leg, which kind of adds up. That's what he was doing to Myrtle in the last fight, and it added up in those final rounds. Fight. That Wait. left uppercut of Congolo is doing really well, Wait. whether he mixes that as an uppercut or a jab, he needs to continue with it. Combination followed by low kicks from Holskin, as we have one minute to go in round four. Another spinning back fist from Congolo, but blocked by Holskin. Congolo's conditioning looks really good, too. That was a dangerous knee from Holskin. Nikki has these weird knees where they don't come with much power, but they're, they're pretty accurate. And that's what caused the cut on the eye of Raymond Daniels. He's cut Kareem Gaji with it. Oh, it's that uppercut left uppercut. From Congolo. He needs to keep that low kick going too. You can see the left leg of Nikki pretty red right now. Left hook and a high kick from Holskin landed. Right. right! As round number four comes to an end. What action? Both fighters preparing for this fifth and final round. There's the Bertel Grunhardt, the teammate of Johan Congolo, representing Mike's gym. Congolo, one round to steal the belt from the champion. Hulskin's 10 fight winning streak is on the line. Fifth and final round. The welterweight world title is on the line. And here they come. I think whoever wins this round is gonna win this fight. But Nikki's keeps throwing that counter left hook. Congolo's landing that left uppercut. Let's see who wins this round and wins this fight. What a furious exchange. This has been worth every penny. The fans here in Denmark going nuts. What a good pace. Both of these guys have been throwing from all five rounds. What a crazy pace. Congolo felt he had the advantage in the conditioning. So let's see if he has it. He's got two minutes to put something really good together here. Four years younger than Holskin, but the champion always shows up in great shape. Congolo needs to keep his hands tight. That counter left hook in Nikki is very dangerous. The drums are beating here in Copenhagen. Under two to go. There's that left hook set up. He's gonna touch the head and then rip the body. Holskin nearly took off the head of Congolo with that high kick. Congolo shook it off. Comes back with his back kick. Flying knee blocked by Congolo. 
Nikki's stealing this round. Congolo needs to pick it up, but those knees from Nikki are hurting. Those liver punches are hurting. Those counter left hooks are starting to add up. Congolo right. needs to find it deep inside of him to, to really put something together for this last round. He's got one minute to do it. One minute to go. Holskin looking for his second straight title defense. The challenger, Congolo, looking to steal the belt from the champion. He definitely died down this Wait. round, Congolo. Nikki just keeps coming forward, keeps attacking. Congolo doesn't have an answer right now. 30 seconds to go. Congolo said that if he was going to win this, he couldn't let it go to the judges' scorecards. He needed to knock out the champion. With 20 to go, Wait. can he do it? Wait. Ten to go in this welterweight championship fight. Appreciate the effort put on by both the champion and the challenger. Did Nikki Holtzkin do enough to maintain his belt, or did that man, Johan Congolo, came into this fight as the number three ranked welterweight? Did he do enough to take and capture the belt? The judge's official decision coming up. Both of these fighters, Joseph, put on a performance and left it all in the glory ring. There was a lot of energy, a high paced, high action fight. They put on a great fight for people here in Denmark and around the world. I have to give this fight three rounds to two to Nikki Holtzman. Champion maintains his belt. A lot of times, you got to take it from the champ and game effort from Congolo. But did he do enough to steal the belt away? We will find out. Of course, the fans of the champion, Nikki Holskin, out in full force. Supporting a man who has been a great champion here in the Glory promotion. The welterweight world championship fight between Nikki Holskin and Johan Congolo is in the books, and what a performance put on by both these fighters, Joseph. Both of these guys were sitting there throwing some big shots. Nikki Holskin was doing really good with his counter left hook. Congolo was getting inside with that left uppercut and following with his combinations, which made him win rounds three and four decisively in my books, but then again, Controversial knockdown there, but Nikki Holtzkin, as the rounds went on, he continued to get better. And then in round five, you really saw him pick it up. He was picking his shots. Congolo really didn't have an answer. And that, that was the answer of the fight. Really, as you look at the final strike stats, very even fight with both kicks and punches. Congolo landing more of his punches more accurate, and the knees were all with the champion, Nikki Holskin. Well, the judge's decision is in. Did Nikki Holskin do enough to maintain his welterweight title? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard. 
And they score this bout, 49-46, 49-46, and 48-47, a unanimous decision for your winner. And still, glory welterweight champion of the world, Nikki Holskin. Nikki Holskin successfully delivers. and John Franklin are joined by our chairman, Pierre Onderon. And here to deliver the belt, WBA Intercontinental Boxing Champion, Denmark's own Patrick Nielsen. Second straight title defense in his 11th in a row. Victory for the champion, Nick, Nikki Holskin. He's standing by with Joseph Baltolini. Nikki, congratulations on defending your title. Give us your thoughts on the fight and Congolo as an opponent. Yeah, my thoughts was uh, I trained very hard. I go for the for the for the win, of course. I think uh, Congolo did a very good job. He is a strong opponent, and uh, if he uh, wants, I will face him again in the future. It's no problem. Well, with myself and others being out, who do you see next as a valuable opponent? I see you as the next opponent. You. You have to come back, and then we uh, finish business. I think I would love that. The fans would love it. So, what else do you think? Give us your thoughts. Start training. It's been, I've been training, don't worry about it. I would love it. Louis, gefeliciteerd alle. Anything for Denmark today? Denmark, I love you, you're a great audience, and uh, I'd like to see you uh, in, uh, in the future. And Congolo, very good fight, bro. There you go, your champion, Nikki Oldskin. <laughs>